I think there can never be enough places like Nature's Table that are small, that are warm, that are really welcoming, that are not commercially based. That this is culture, this is society, this is something that our country needs more of. Nature's Table was started in September of 1979. Was living in Florida and associated with several health food stores down there and came back to the area and realized that there was a need. We, we started this place when we were 29 years old. Now we're 42. That's a long time. You know, a couple of life stages you go through there. I think that a lot of, a lot of small mom and pop places provide that. That you put a lot of time and effort into it and the people that in the long run stick with it realize that and they're willing to give a lot more, get a lot more, and the, the bottom line isn't money. I mean, it is to some extent, but there are other things. It's been nice working here. Um, I like the Friday happy hours. Those are kind of fun. And a lot of people come with their kids. So you have a lot of people just sitting back and, and eating their food and listening to it. Usually it's kind of um, New Orleans, kind of jazz, Dixieland, or some other things too. And sitting out on the front porch, the front stoop over there, that's kind of the nicest thing in the summer and late spring, sitting out there and having the music kind of drift out. Children are running and dancing and turning and twirling. Their parents are sitting here drinking beers and teas and coffees, drinking red beans and eating red beans and rice for a dollar. Well, it's a very human scene. It's, it's a wonderful environment and, and we'll miss it. This whole area from, from those science labs right out there to the one like two blocks away is going to be this huge building. That's the plan. They take over the lease of this building on the 15th, we have to vacate, so. That's why today and tomorrow will be the last two days. I think it's a sad time for everybody who works here and for people who played here, hung out here. I think it's indicative of the university's policies and the, the university's role in relationship to the community. Because historically, the university has not built with the community, but has built itself and um, pushed out the community. Um, I think this is just another example. For us, it's a little more close to home, but the university's lack of um, respect for the community and what's around it besides itself, looking only in this narrow vision of what will serve its best interest, not the interest of the community. We are the beginning of the line, and that's what this society doesn't have enough of. Entry-level places to dance, to blow your horn, to sing, to learn to cook, the beginnings where things are raw, where people can fail, where people can try. Like we were talking about before, it doesn't really give the inexperienced musician a chance to uh, put together a set. In some ways, we were kind of an extension of the University of Illinois. Graduate Music 101 Jazz. That you never see a fight, you never see a problem. All you see is people enjoying themselves in a community atmosphere, and uh, the proof is in the pudding by how many people show up to say goodbye to the institution. So, may as well with a bang. But come Monday morning, the bang will probably wear off, and we'll be wishing Nature Table was still there.
guess it provided a stabilizing point that, from which I could have a family and, and my views on like war and big corporations just allowed it to solidify. It gave me some chances to talk with wonderful people and formulate good ideas and eat good food. Pleasure is the basis of everything uh, that's done here. And the food is good, rich, real. The music, good. Everything is real. Real life. Take it. You know, you live, you also die. You know, you, you, you love and you lose. You take risks. The price for a place like this is no financial security. That's a big price. That's why there aren't other nature's tables. This is a place where we're not going to throw people out because it's not useful to us to keep them here. You, you don't do that in a family and you don't do that in a place like this. Uh, well, I have four children, lovely wife, and we plan on, in August, going to Mexico and trying to learn another culture, language, and uh, just enjoy different chains. It's amazing what you do if you've done something for 12 years, seven days a week that I'm sure there's something else out there and I guess we're going to go look for it. Simply. We will miss it. We come here to see our friends and it will be a hole. We can't bear the thought of living here without it. So we're leaving.